What's up, everyone? I thought that I would try something new, something different. Um, you know, we'll see how long this this goes for, but I want to start. Yeah, I want to start doing these freedom sessions, and I, and and I'm calling them freedom sessions because um, what I've come to find in just conversations with people. As, as you all know, if you've probably been following me for a little while, I, I do a lot of coaching with real estate agents and I, I have a lot of conversations, I'm trying to get this microphone right, with agents. And um, I found that there's a lot of things that are handicapping people and, and, and holding you hostage, um, whether it's in your business and in your life and during my journey, I have, I have unlocked, I like to say I've unlocked levels, you know, not only levels in business, you all, you all see the different levels in business that I've unlocked, but also levels in life, in my consciousness, in, in my thoughts and in, in thinking and my associations. And I want to, you know, just provide any, any value that I can really, um, for anyone who may be facing things that are holding you handicapped, you know, hold, holding your life in its hands to where you don't feel free. You don't feel like you can um, live life on your terms. You don't feel free in your business and in any and everything that you're doing. So as people are coming in, what's up? What's up? Thank you. Um, leave me comments. Let me know things that that may be limiting you, you know, and let's, and let's work through these things together. This isn't real estate 101. I have hundreds of videos out there for that. I want to get deep with this. I want to, I want to get higher. I want to talk about things and get to the root of some issues and some problems that you may be facing in your life. That's, that's really holding you back from being as successful as um you can potentially be so uh, that's what that's what these freedom sessions are going to be this is the first one you know it's probably going to be all over the place who knows someone may ask a question take things in a different direction um but if you are dealing with something if you're facing something if you want to know how to break free through certain obstacles that you're going through let me know in the comments um so that way we can we can kind of discuss these I want to share some stuff kind of for for me particularly that I faced during my journey. And oh, what is that? And I feel like um, a lot of people go through this, you know, kind of that that moment where you're asking yourself if I should continue going down this road. You know, should I continue in real estate? Should I continue doing it? Um you know, it's turning out to be a lot of challenges that you that you didn't necessarily think that you would be facing. Y'all, there is a like gnat or something in my office, and I don't know where it came from, but it is annoying the crap out of me. Um, yeah, so so if I ever just randomly be clapping like that, that's that's the reason why, but but one of those things that I, I I found myself dealing with was wondering if I should keep going. You know, is this is this right for me? Is this is this business for me? Should I continue down this road? Um, I'm I'm all out of money. I'm all I'm, I'm I've tried just about everything. I've I've done just about everything, and you're really wondering if if you should keep going. You know, I faced this challenge years ago. Um, shortly after I had got into the business, you know, I had depleted all of my money, depleted my funds. I didn't really see where things were going to go from there, you know. And, and, th and that's one piece of advice that I want you to write down right now. Um, because what I often find is that we are limited only to what we can see at that time. You know, we are we 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 are limited to believe in in only only to the extent of what we can see at that time. 
So in my situation back then, I was limited by just the amount of money that I had in my account. You know, I was limited to only think about when my lights were off at home. Um, I was limited in thinking, I don't have any clients. I don't know where they're going to come from. You know, I couldn't see past those moments. And those were the things that had me questioning, should I even continue? You know, should I even continue going down this road? Let me check this chat box right quick. Okay, I got you. I'm going to come back to your to your question. Um, should I even continue to go down this road? And unfortunately, and um, Jesse, this this could actually help help you out right now you've been contemplating making this decision but but you're 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 kind of handicapped because you're only thinking about your life right now how it is right now you know and and what's on the other side of the door can seem very scary because it's a it's a side and a part of things that you haven't been exposed to before you know when i was thinking about should i continue I already told you I was thinking about the money that I that I had, um, my lights being off, um, not not much gas in my car, but my mind was only conditioned to the extent of what I had experienced before. I was used to having a job, you know, so I always knew where the money was going to come from, or I was used to getting that paycheck every two weeks. So I I, I had only experienced in my life that type of lifestyle. I wasn't necessarily used to continuing on not knowing where my money was going to come from. And and because that was the way that I had always operated and that I was conditioned, it seemed very scary to the point of, I don't know if I can make it. You know, fast forward here, I'll tell you about something relevant, right? I, 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 I had a fear of hiring people. Like when I had to hire my first assistant, it was a fear of hiring someone, you know, the thought of paying somebody a paycheck, the thought of that coming out of my money. Um, what was I going to have them do? What was I going to, um, you know, how long would I be able to keep this, this person prior to that, you know, where I was in life, all the money that I made was based off of what I did. You know, I was the one that was making the money. Every bit of money that I spent was for me. You know, I didn't have that training and I couldn't think about paying somebody else. Now, one interesting thing about this though, is that you can see it all around you, people on the other side, right? Right. We can see other people with employees. We can see other people having success. We can see everybody doing what we want to do. But when it comes to us, right, when it comes to you, you can't see that. You know, you can't see yourself making that, that jump. You don't you don't see how you're going to make it happen. You, you 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 can't necessarily see the other side of that. Right. So here's the second bit of advice for that. It's time to switch your thinking from past tense to future tense, right? Here's how I did it with that same situation of hiring someone. I had only known what I had done. I had only known the money that I had made. I had only spent my money on myself. And then I knew how much money I had at this present time, at that present time, right? Like, okay, with the amount of money that I have right now, I can probably keep them on for three, three months, maybe. Right. And I won't go out to eat. I won't do this. I won't do anything like that. You know, I was I was literally just thinking about what I had right now. I wasn't thinking future tense. Right. Think about when you're planning a business, when you're when you're starting a business. Okay, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna make this amount of money. I'm gonna do this, this, this. We think in the future tense. But then when it becomes reality. Right. When we're actually in those shoes. We can't we can't see past our current moment. Okay, so I want to remind you 
right? Because you know how to do it. I want to remind you when it comes to business, when it comes to taking these leap of faith, these, 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 these leaps of faith, you can't just think about where you are right now. It's imperative that you think in the future, okay? Because the future is where you're trying to go. You're trying to go to that point where you have employees. You're, you're trying to go to that point where you're a successful real estate agent. Only thinking about where you are right now is only going to keep you where you're currently at. I talk to people all the time, right? They're like, I've been thinking about getting in real estate for a year. Why have you been thinking about it for a year? It's because you're only thinking about where you are right now. Okay. If I would have switched that up and was thinking future tense, okay, a year from now, I can be a very successful real estate agent. I can have this many listings. I can have this many employees. If I'm going to do that, I need to start right now. I'm basing it off of the future. I'm not sitting there in my present state marinating on this idea for a year. Third piece of advice with this, okay? You have to build momentum. You have to build momentum. It goes back to when I was saying about staying in your current state, right? Only thinking about where you are right now. Letting that past conditioning dictate where you're going to go, you know? You have to create momentum. One thing that I that I see common with people, and, and I may do a whole different talk on, on this, is that you're looking for a sense of certainty that I'm not sure that you're gonna find. Okay. Certainty. You know, you want you want everything lined up perfectly. You want this guarantee that you're gonna do X, Y, and Z. You want this guarantee that you're going to hit the ground running. Okay. And it just doesn't exist, you know, especially down the road of entrepreneurship and business building, whether it be real estate, car sales, insurance, whatever, mortgages, there's no certainty. All right. And that's scary because you, you're, you've probably been in a position to where you had a job. And you were certain that you were going to get a paycheck two weeks from now. But on this side of things, that certainty doesn't exist. And this is a mind shift that you have to have. You just have to be able to tell yourself that at the end of the day, you're going to be OK. Right. You're going to be OK. You're going to you're going to have your health. You're going to have your your family. You're going to have all of that. You're going to be OK. How you get to that point, though, that point of I'm successful, I've made it, I got it rocking and rolling. How you get to that point, everything that you do up until that, that point, it's going to be uncertain. OK, every day is going to be a new challenge. Every person that you talk to is going to hit you with something that you didn't see coming. Right. Deals are going to fall through. It's very uncertain. But. What keeps one going, what kept me going, what what lifted me up from that moment that I told you all about a few minutes ago is that I knew everything was going to be OK. And I had to be OK with the uncertainty of things. You know, you're playing on a different field. Than before, you're not playing on an employee field anymore. All right. There's a reason. Think about sports. Baseball is played on a certain field. Basketball is played on a certain field. Football is played on a certain field. Soccer. Everything is played on a certain field. Everything, the way that that field is designed is for that specific game, right? When you come into being a real estate agent in entrepreneurship, you're on a different field, that's designed completely different from that job that you were at. And you have to know that you're going to have to learn now how to navigate that field. You're going to have to learn where the goal is. You're going to get paid differently than you did before. You're going to have a new set of teammates that you didn't have before. 
it's a completely different field that now you have to become a pro at. And you have to know that every day, every single day is going to be a new challenge, right? It's going to be a new challenge. You're going to have a different play to do. You're going you're going you're going to have to come up with a different play. You're not going to have them all, right? Cuz this team over there is going to throw some at you that you didn't see coming. It's going to trip you off, you know? But guess what? That next day you have another game to play. That next day you have another game to play. Now you're going to form a new play. Right? You're going to you're going you're going to think you're going to learn from that action and say, "Okay, if they try that again, I'm going to do this." You know, that 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 client Right. OK, if this person says no, I'm going to try this. All right. I spent all my money on this. I know that that doesn't doesn't work. Now I'm about to try this. I was writing this this person off. I didn't think that they knew what they were talking about. But now I'm going to try listening to them for once. You know, you're playing on a different field. And you have to know that you you can't bring that same stuff into working for yourself that you had at that job. Cause it's going to set you up for failure. You're paying. I mean, you're playing a totally different game, right? Let me get in this chat box right quick. All right, Jesse, hopefully that helped you um, with your question. Jason, are you going to the Tony Robbins bill conference in August? It's in Dallas. Hong. Yes, I do plan on being there. I'm in the same boat. I'm limited when it comes to income. But I believe that if you keep pushing, you will succeed. Look, I want to I want to talk one thing about income right quick. Something for everybody to know that I've learned for myself. Income is only limited because you've made it limited. You're limiting your income. There is a million and one ways to make money, right? A million and one ways to make money. And there's people out here making money hand over foot every single day. Take me, for instance. A lot of people just think that I sell homes. It's one part of it. I have a software, right? I have a whole coaching company, right? I have investments, right? I I, I charge people just to sit on the phone with them for 30 minutes, right? Money attracts money. Stop thinking that you're running out of money. Stop thinking that you're limited. Right. Whatever you sit there and think about, it's just going to keep multiplying. You can't keep telling yourself, I'm broke. I'm running out of money. I'm limited on income. I can't do this. I can't do that. You can't keep telling yourself that it's going to continue to keep you in that same position. I promise you. Watch. Watch. There's people who, who, are, who are in my life right now. They've been talking the same talk five, six, seven years, and they're in that same position that they were in. I have literally come in, passed them up. We had the same opportunities. We had the same resources. Matter of fact, I think they had more resources. You know, but guess what? They weren't talking the talk that I was talking. The, the, the talk that I was talking was putting me in the right room with people sitting me at the right tables with people. You know, money attracts money. It's the reason why you see rich people hanging out with other rich people. It's just how it works. You got to stop that. Let me hop back over here. I think you have to take it one day at a time. And believing in yourself. If you don't want to know, give it your best. Yep, take it, take it one day at a time. Just moved to Texas, get my license for Trek, and basically... I feel like I am starting all over. Check this. So me and my real estate journey, I didn't come from a real estate family. I didn't come from a real estate background. I didn't know anything about real estate. Look, the extent of my knowledge on real estate, all I thought was people put up signs and people just call them and then they they start showing houses and making up money. That was that that was literally my thoughts about real estate and, and how I thought that it worked coming into the business. Now, I'm going to tell you, that was a thing for me. And here's why. Because when I came into the business, 
and someone told me you need to sit on the phone every day for two hours and use this script, I didn't tell them no. I just did it. I did it because I, did, I didn't know anything else. I didn't know any other way of doing things. I didn't know any other way of make building this business. So me coming into this business, not knowing anything, why am I going to try to do something different? Why am I going to try to make my own lane? Why am I going to try to invent something? You know, I'm stepping into a business, right? That's been here for decades. Literally. Why am I going to come in and try to tell somebody else who's been in the business for a long time how to do their job? You know, and that's what trips new agents up a lot. You come into this business, you say, oh, no, I want to run Facebook ads or, or oh, no, I want to do this. I want to try to do it. I want to design my car this way. And I want to do you come in with all this stuff. Right. All these other things that have nothing to do with getting the job done. You have that have nothing to do with getting the job done. And it's probably things that nobody even told you to do. You know, you got to stay focused with this. You really got to stay focused. Leave all that crap from your job, from what you thought you knew, what you knew before, all that crap. Remember I talked about we're on different playing fields now. Okay. There it go again, y'all. I saw it. We're on different playing fields now. So you got to leave that other team alone. Leave, leave it all. Leave it alone. Come in with an open mind and follow instructions. Follow instructions. Let me hop back over here. I got a question. I'm 18, about to graduate high school in seven days. I'm going to get real estate school to get my course done and then get my license. Any advice? Any advice for being an agent? Look, check this, Alexis. I have 200 videos, 200 videos on my channel of advice. All right, 200. And 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 I'm not discounting your your question at all, but there's 200 videos and 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 I have a playlist actually on my channel. That's called just getting started. Start here. Watch all of those videos. You know, watch, watch all those videos. And, and I'm not going to say what I'm about to say, point it directly at you, but somebody needs to hear this because I, I find this a lot. Everybody's always asking the next question. What's next, 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 next. Okay. That's going to trip you up. That's going to trip you up. Focus on what's right there. Do those actions that you need to do right now. Stop looking for the next thing when you haven't completed the first step, the second step, the third step. That's what causes people to trip up. You feel like you're working so hard, doing so many things, but you're not getting anything done. Okay, the way that I have my stuff put together, whether it's my YouTube channel, whether it's my coaching program, when I'm, when I'm doing private coaching, the way that that stuff is set up is to take you step by step. I don't tell you any more than you need to know right now. Okay. Because people start thinking that they can skip ahead or start thinking that, that they can create a shortcut. But guess what? There's no shortcuts with this. There's no shortcuts in business. There's no shortcuts in life. It's all a step by step process. OK, you don't need to know anything more than what you need to know right now. You have every single thing that you need to know right now, right in front of you. OK, once you break through this level, then a new set of things are going to present themselves. So just know, just know it's about what's already in front of you. Don't look for the next best great thing. There's no shortcuts, no matter what people try to sell you on. All right. Um, what's up? Oh, what's up? We got Spain in the building. Um, yeah, y'all. So let me see. What advice do you have outside of cold call to be successful for new agents? Door knock. Try that. Um, any advice for onboarding process of joining KW? I'm paying fees and I I haven't I'm haven't been at KW in 
in about what seven years. So no, I have no um, no idea about their onboarding process. All right. Again, I'm not going to talk about these basic things. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to get into this basic stuff because all of this stuff is already out there. Whoa, what is this? The Last Saint. Thank you so much for that. Oh, congrats on passing, man. Congrats on passing. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's a level right there. You just broke through. You broke through that through that level. Now you you're on a different field. You got a, you got a whole new set of things to accomplish now. You know, that you couldn't you couldn't even accomplish them without passing that exam. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. There are levels to this. There's different fields to this. Pay attention to what needs to be done right now. I appreciate that. Congrats, con congrats, y'all. Everybody drop them a congratulations in that chat box. The last saint. Um, yeah, y'all. Yeah, this is this this is real life. But look, I love all of y'all. I'm here to go down this road with you. You know, we all we all have to lean on somebody, and 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 that's who I want to be for you. You know, I realize that my my personality may not blend with everybody, and it's okay. But look, but look, the right people. I know y'all are y'all are out here, y'all are y'all are stuck by me, and I want to help you. I want to help you get there. So, um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, because I do want to do these more often. Heck, maybe every day. I've been clearing out my schedule for stuff because I want to connect on a different level with you all um, that you just don't see in the regular videos. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get out of here today. Peace, love, blessings to all of you. I love y'all. Y'all are my, my real estate family. I'm going to see you next time. Okay.